everybody in this episode we're going to make the train body it's going to look something like this so let's start by hitting create and document and call this train body and then throw your initials at the end to make sure we know which teammate did it so uh this part is um one of the bigger parts so we're going to start by hitting sketch and front view and then flip over to the front view and let's start by making like a backwards L with the line. So I'm going to start at the origin. I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to go straight up. You can see I'm not quite paying attention to um, dimensions, but I am making sure that I am at a right angle or perpendicular angle on all of those. I'm going to come back all the way to the uh, vertical axis and then back to the origin and it should gray out, which it does. All right. Let's start dimensioning some parts here. So uh, we want this height to be 0.875. There we go. We want this base line to be 5.5 inches. Um, we actually want this height, we're, I'm just going to say like 4.5 inches. We're, we're going to actually exaggerate that quite a bit. Um, and let me zoom out a little bit. And we want this distance right there to be 1.75. <clears throat> okay, this one should already be um, be figured out because you can see that it's grayed out because this 4.5 minus this uh, 0.875 gives us this. So we actually don't need to mention that and same thing with this distance right here. All right, let's hit the green checkbox and throw the isometric view on there and extrude that. Um, I want to extrude, actually, I can't, let's see. Okay, perfect. So here's what I want to do. I want to extrude this symmetrically um, and I want the width of that to be two inches. So you'll see it'll go an inch to down to my left and an inch up to my right. And the cool thing about this is you can always take a tape measure and click here and click here and it'll tell you your distance and then it'll actually keep it right there um, from whatever your last measurement was. Okay. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to click on this face right here, we're going to start a sketch right on that face, and I'm going to hit the left view. And I'm going to um, grab a circle. I'm going to hover over the center point there. And, and then I, the reason why we made it symmetrical in that last extrusion is so that we can easily find the center there. And I'm going to make a circle that is um 0.75 times 2 in diameter and now we want to we always dimension for size and location so we want to locate the center of that circle from the bottom origin to um, the height of 1.375 all right and go ahead and hit the green checkbox all right now one trick i want to do is grab this tape measure, go from this corner to this corner, and it tells us it is 3.75. So remember that number, 3.75. Let's go ahead and grab the extrusion, grab that circle, and we want to type in 3.75 right there in the distance or the depth, and we want to make sure it's on the add, and you can see that comes flush with the front. All right. Moving right along. Let's add some holes here so that our wheels will line up there. So I want to um, click sketch and then click this side of the face. And I want to grab a point and I'm gonna go like up a little bit and I'm gonna go straight to my right. You'll see there's a dotted line there. If I go up or down any, it disappears. So I wanna make sure that these are parallel. These are at the same height. And I want that height from the center of that circle. So I click dimension and I click that point and I click the height and I want that to be 0.5. And 
and just to prove that it worked, that is also 0.5. It kind of grays out. All right, so let's do the dimension from this point to the back of our train body, and we want that to be one inch. And then we want the back of the train body to the other point to be 4.5 inches. We're gonna hit the green checkbox, and we are going to make a hole at those points. So I'm gonna click there, and I'm gonna click there, and we want to uh, have a simple blind hole. Um, we wanna make sure it's custom, um, and we want the width to be a quarter of an inch or 0.25, and then the depth to be half of an inch. Um, oh, I'm sorry, no, I wanna change that. I want the depth to be 0.875. You don't trust everything the computer tells you. All right, and then hit the green checkbox. And we wanna do two more on the other side, but let's make our life easier and mirror that. So I'm gonna click on mirror. I'm gonna click on um, feature. So I wanna change, I wanna click feature to mirror. I'm gonna click on this hole and it should like click on that hole too. Um, and I want my mirror plane to be this front view. And if I hit the top view, you can see that front view is, is split. And when I flip it around, the holes are created. See, they were there, and now they're there. Don't forget to hit the green checkbox, because if you don't, they disappear. So hit the green checkbox, boom, your holes are done on the other side. All right. Now, let's start kind of turning off some of these, um, some of these planes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn those off, and we can see what we have right now. All right. Let's uh, add some more holes to the front. This is where our cow catcher is going to go. So I hit sketch, I hit front of, of this, and I want to uh, grab some points. So I want a point down to this uh, left side. I want uh, the same height here, um, there, and then I want one straight up from the middle. Try not, don't, don't set it in the middle here. Don't line it up with this line here. Uh, just go slightly lower than that. And now we want to locate all of these holes. So um, the first thing I'm going to locate or I'm going to dimension is from this point to this uh, base right here. And I want that to be 0.625. I want the height of these two lines to be 0.125 and it should drop this one too but just in case it doesn't you can make sure that it's 0.125 if it's not you can type it in or you should be able to um all right this location from the width from the left side to uh the, the right side should be one inch oh shoot let me get back in that sketch. I accidentally hit the green check mark. I don't know why. So if I just double click on that sketch for, um, in my case, it might be a different number sketch for you and that's okay. Um, so I'm working back on the same sketch and I want to go back to dimension and I want to do dimension from here to here. Uh, I want that to be 0 0.3, um, 0.375. And I also want the dimension from that point to this point to also be 0.375. Okay, so I've got height and width here, I've got height and width here, and I've got height and width uh, located there. Perfect. Let's start adding those holes. So if I click on hole and I click on that hole, or that point, that point, and this point right here, not sh quite sure why it's giving me an error, but we're gonna change some dimensions and see if that doesn't help. So we want to uh, change this first diameter to one point, uh, point one two five, and we want to change um, the depth of this to point one two five. And you can see I went from being red to uh, blue now. And if I hit that, okay. So it was just giving me an error because of um, the holes that it defaulted to were slightly too big. All right, we are getting there. As I flip it around, I want to hit 
sketch hit this back face or surface and I'm going to put a point right here in the middle, go up with it a little ways. I'm going to dimension the height of this um, to be 0.375. And let's make that a hole by hitting the green checkbox and make a click a hole, click here. Um, we want the width of that, the diameter of that to be 0.25 and the depth to be um, 0.5. And let's hit the green checkbox there. All right. And we want to add another sketch, click on the back side here, click circle. We want to center right there on that point that we just did, or that circle or a hole we just did. I want to make a giant circle. And I want that giant circle's dimension to be 2.35 times 2. And let's extrude. Well, I accidentally. Let's hit extrude and let's click on this circle and click on this circle and click on. Oh, well, it's not letting me. So let me flip back here. I want to click on the hole and I want to click on. There, I want to have everything clicked. So I've got a full circle with that tiny hole. Um, I want to intersect. And I want to say like six inches. I'm going to hit the green checkbox and it gives us that curve on top. All right, we are getting there. Now we just need to add the uh, hole for the, the chimney or the stack on top. So Let's go back to um, turning on our top view or our top plane. And we want to measure from the bottom to the top. And we have 2.125. All right. Now let's grab a plane here. And we want to offset this plane up. And does anybody remember the, the distance? Was it 2.125? Check that off. And where did it go? Why didn't it go anywhere? Because I have all of these things checked. I shouldn't have. Okay. Let's try that again. I want plane one to offset 2.125. Check that just to make sure I have that dimension right. I'm going to go here to here 2.125 that is correct all right and then i want to create a sketch on plane one and i want to create a point right here off this point but slightly to the right and let's measure how slightly to the right that is so i want that distance to be 0.875 and hit the green check box and create a hole right here the whole width of the, the width of that or the diameter needs to be 0.5 and the depth of it needs to be 0.25 and we're looking good okay um just suggestion to turn off that and to turn off this plane right here and we can uh, change. So if I right click on part one and I go to assign material and I change this to ABS plastic. Okay, we are almost done. The only other thing we need to do is fillet all the edges except for the holes. And so, um, all of the edges we're going to hit fillet and we're going to change this to 0.1 and so as you go around and you click on all of the edges you're going to notice that they start curving and we are going to click on all of the edges again and keep going around and around avoid clicking the uh, places where you put um, 
where you put holes. So let me flip this around, make sure I get the bottom and the back and flip it around. I missed this side and I think that's everything. And if I hit the green checkbox, I've got round edges everywhere. Oh, I missed one. Nice thing is I can double click on this fillet and then I can click on add that, hit the green checkbox. And now I am all done. This is a pretty long one, um, but you've done it and you might need to break this up a few times, but great job. And uh, let me know if you, if you need anything. Thanks for watching.